Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to answer a question. Somebody who is working for a smaller company up here in Canada and they want to transition into maybe getting a job in the US working for a big boy like I, Microsoft. So let me just jump into the uh, email and uh, we'll take it from there. Stefan, I found you on YouTube recently have really been enjoying your videos and your advice. I think from dealing with people to F you money to the different career paths you've outlined, it's all very sound and well thought out. It's been great to find and experience one-way mentorship from you, so I thought I'd reach out and say hi, as well as ask some career advice. I am 22, a recent computer science graduate who is working remotely as a SaaS application developer for a company, a SaaS as software as a service, in a smaller city in eastern Canada. We do work in PHP, Laravel, and I do front-end and back-end development. Also possibly relevant, I am a U.S. citizen who went to school in Canada for cheaper tuition and have no debt with a few thousand dollars in the bank. See, at uh, 22, that's an excellent position to be in. He's thinking long-term, doesn't want to get himself in debt, so that was a good move. Yeah, so let me continue. I feel like I am in a good position to learn and I have been working harder in my job than I ever did on personal projects or at school. I'm grossing 50K a year with a salary, with a salary re-evaluation in my contract set for November. That's very good. It's a very good way to s start going as a young developer. Uh, you can see one of the important things that he has. He understands the importance of not being in debt. So that's fantastic, number one. Uh, number two, he's got a few bucks in the bank so he can cover his expenses. I assume with three, four thousand, he's got enough to cover his expenses for a little while. Again, which is good. Uh, if you don't have debt, you have minimal expenses, you have money in the bank, it gives you uh, a very relaxed lifestyle, relatively speaking. You don't want to have to be dependent on the next paycheck or the next contract to, uh, to survive. It's a huge thing. Anyway. I've been looking over your courses for freelancing and entrepreneurship as I'm interested in working for myself. Shameless self-promotion. I'll put the links to my courses below. Uh, something, you know, based on my almost 30 years experience in this stuff, actually 30, as well as earning some extra money to boost my earnings. My goals are to work very hard at my job and bring a lot of value to the company, start freelancing, and at some point in the next year, try to get hired at a large company like Microsoft in the United States. I am very interested in financial freedom and feel like I am in a unique position to achieve it after years of being in school. This is true. You're actually much closer to it than you think. This email ended up being longer than I initially thought it would be, and I rambled more than I like, but this is my situation. I'm a young guy looking for some advice from someone as experienced as you are. I'm very open to any suggestions you may have. Looking forward to hearing from you. So he asked to remain anonymous, so I, of course, uh, did not reveal who he is. So you're already in a very good position because, A, you don't have any student loan debt, which you want to avoid, like the plague. I'd rather have COVID than a student loan debt uh, because student loan debt is non-dischargeable. Uh, via bankruptcy, meaning you could have this hanging over your head or by your neck for life. Uh, very pernicious debt. So you don't want to get into student loan debt. Uh, to pay for very expensive education at the Ivy League schools is at best questionable these days. People do it for the contacts more or less. But with COVID, you're seeing a restructuring of uh, society to a certain extent. It's accelerating what was already happening. So, he's in an excellent position because he's got money saved, he's got no debt, he's got skills. Uh, if you want to go work for a big corporation like a Microsoft or a Google or something, then having that degree is helpful, unfortunately, to, uh, well, fortunately for you, but unfortunately in reality, because as I've pointed out many times, uh, they've done uh, studies, Google, Apple, and they found that there was no difference in quality of the, st of the employee, whether or not they had a higher degree. That's Apple and Google saying this, not me. That being said, the more you can bring uh, to the table when you're looking for jobs, uh, the better off you're going to be. 
So having that degree doesn't hurt, it helps. Is it absolutely required? No. But if you don't have a degree, then you need more experience. You got both going for you. You have experience now, uh, you're developing a SaaS product, and uh, you have the degree. Now, what the freelancing will do will just uh, expand your options. It will allow you to um, maybe explore other technologies, but you'll be paid to learn as you freelance. As you know, I, I'm a huge advocate in the need to nerd philosophy, which is my coined philosophy. You learn technology as you need to use them on a need to nerd basis. That's the reality of software development anyhow. There's this illusion out there that uh, you come to the game as a software developer fully equipped with all the skills you need. It doesn't work that way. There's a certain baseline set of fundamental skills that you have to have, but then really the game of software development is learning new things constantly and constantly expanding your knowledge, especially in the first uh, three, four years, three, five years, three to five years. All right. So... If your end goal is to move back to the U.S., you're U.S. citizens, so that's not an issue. Um, you just want to build up more experience and show a broad range of skills. If you can come to Microsoft with um, your uh, experience working for a SaaS company, uh, also showing that you've done side projects in different technologies, perhaps try to find side gigs, freelance gigs in with Microsoft tech whatever they're interested in pushing at that time, whether it be uh, C-sharp and ASP.NET projects or whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, you can uh, glide into something uh, much more easily. When you go see a pr prospective employer, one of the things you have to do is you have to look at their business and try to figure out what it is they're looking for uh, in terms of uh, their people and try to present that. So you design your resume around that. Uh, eventuality so let's say you go see Microsoft um, you don't want to emphasize your PHP Laravel you want to emphasize maybe uh, the fact that you worked on a SaaS software but happens to use PHP Laravel and then put a little bit more emphasis maybe you've done a couple of freelance gigs with C sharp and ASP.NET or something or whatever tech that they may be uh, interested in pushing depending on the division you're working for so I hope it helps uh, I think what to take away from here is that this guy is well on his way. The quickest way to financial freedom is actually not uh, trying to earn tens of millions of dollars. Those are very, very rare people. The way you do it, uh, the most, the easiest way and the quickest way is to do what you're doing, is to get a, the skills, get a good paying job, have no debt, start saving, have a habit of saving, and diversify your income flows, whether you have a job and you do freelancing on the side, and slowly start uh, saving and investing. And I'm telling you, when you have even a year, maybe you get up to two years of FU money, you can see my videos, Just search my, my YouTube channel for my FU money video, I'll teach you all that. Just having FU money, plus savings, plus long-term, you're on track for your retirement, you don't have debt, and uh, you, uh, you got multiple streams of income, your stress levels will drop like whew, quite a bit. And this will allow you to make better choices, choices that are uh, done from a position, position of strength, which will make you a better negotiator, whether you negotiate for a job in, at a job interview or freelance contracts or you're launching your business. And it would just put you in a better state of mind, you're much more relaxed, and allow you to choose the type of work that you want to do, which means that your day-to-day -day job will be a lot easier. So the whole thing is just a big uh, advantage for you uh, when you set yourself up like this. Low stress, uh, lots of opportunities, and um, life's just easy. So when you're in that position, it's like having 10 million in the bank or 20 million in the bank because you have all this, uh, all these advantages that I just described. There you go. I hope that helps, and I hope that helps anybody else who's watching this uh, video. Ciao, ciao.